Hey guys, so today I'm just doing a quick video on a book review and I'm going to get the book real quick. So I have this in my multiple book review video. This is Multiple Streams of Income by Robert G. Allen. So if you've ever read this book, the first few chapters seem ridiculously simple to understand. But as you go through the book, it becomes more complex and there's a lot more things to try to understand. I'm just going to read the chapter so I can kind of look back at what I was reading because I don't always have the best memory. But he'll talk about different ways you can make money. So there's real estate, um, there's buying foreclosed properties, um, there's some tax products, that he, tax liens that he talks about. So it's basically your you're paying somebody else's income taxes and hoping that they pay back their income taxes later. It's, think of it kind of like um, payday loans or credit cards or anything like that where basically somebody borrows some money and they promise to pay back ridiculous interest rates at a later date and you're hoping they don't pay the whole account at once because you want to make interest off of that. Um, in other cases it's rare but it's a cheap way to basically buy a property kind of like playing the lottery um, you buy a tax lien and you hope that somebody um, decides they don't want to pay their property taxes or whatever and then you can foreclose on the house um, I don't really know how it works but basically there's like a say one in one thousand chance that you'll be able to own a home for a little cheaper than it's actually worth. And then you've got network marketing and and then you go into basically creating things. So I guess the gist of it is you either buy things that are already in existence that you can like rent or or make money off of like so the first section would be investments such as real estate and stocks where you make money off of those things um, residual income money that keeps coming in so like you rent the property for like four hundred dollars you make four hundred dollars each month from that property or stocks where you make money because they they increase in value or they pay dividends that's another way and then there's network marketing, which is basically you're taking advantage of knowing a whole bunch of people and being convincing and liking to, to interact with people, but you also have this company you really like and you sign up with them and then you manage to sign up your friends and then you make money off of that because you build like a network of maybe thousands of people who are all buying this product that you really love and they really love and you're making commissions off of that um, now that does take a lot of work but it is something that you can do if you already know a bunch of people or if you're really good at meeting new people and teaching them about um, the business opportunity you're going to present them with um, he mentions a whole bunch of things about what to look for in a network marketing company too then there is information or infopreneuring is what he calls it. So that's basically like create something, market it, and then sell it. So let's say, let's say you write a book. Well, you write the book, you figure out how can you publish it, where can you sell it, um, how much can you sell it for. And he also suggests, you know, now that you have the internet, try to do something with the internet instead of actually doing like um, a physical product because it's a lot cheaper to start up and a lot it's a lot easier to do but one of the things he says caught my attention is don't ignore the offline type of thing so if you're selling a book um, you know look at all the different ways you can deliver that book to somebody so so don't just look at um, I'm gonna go okay we can sell the book on Kindle electronic version 
because I think that's the easiest thing. That's what people know. Um, you know, the Kindle on Amazon. Easiest thing to get um, books off of. And then don't ignore having like a physical book, an actual book that you can hold in your hands and sell. Like I had that book. Um, also, don't forget like an audio tape or maybe in videos or something. Um, he just says, you know, create a product and then create side products of that product because if people really like it, they'll want all the information available on that product and they'll want it in different forms. So they'll want to be able to read it, hear it, see it, whatever. Um, and then finally he, he talks about um, basically learn about taxes or have somebody, some professionals help you with taxes. And that's basically just so you can um, think of it this way. So he gave an example. So let's say you pay $2,000 in taxes. Um, and he said like an IRA account is an example. So a savings account for your retirement. So let's say you start one up and then this is just an example. Don't, don't take it serious. But let's say you deposit $2,000 a year on that savings account. So then that's tax deductible. Um, so you'll get a credit of maybe $300 or something. Made up number. 300 bucks at the end of the year. So you're really only saving $1,700 because the government's giving you back $300. And then he's like, well, look at this. If you're saving so much money and the government's giving you this money back, you're really making a return on your investment because at the end of the day, you're not being taxed and the government's giving you money for saving money. So you really can't go wrong. And he kind of says that's another um, stream of income in the long term. So this book was pretty informative. There's a lot of things I didn't understand because um, he really he really went a little more in depth than I thought he would on like taxation and um, and like inventing things. But overall, it was a pretty informative book. I'd recommend reading it if you are interested in learning about different streams of income. Uh, now, one thing that it doesn't do is it doesn't tell you how to create these streams of income. It doesn't give you a step-by-step. -step. It just covers different ways that you can create income, but it doesn't cover them in depth. So if you really want to learn um, how to make money off of real estate, you really have to read books on how to do that. If you want to make money um, network marketing, you're going to have to learn the strategies that you need to use network marketing. He just mentions, okay, here's ways to make money. But your job is to go and look at these ways to make money, pick the ones that you like, and then study on them so that you can become really good at those streams of income. Anyways, that's the book review, um, Multiple Streams of Income, and it's by, by Robert G. Allen. Um, check it out at the library or buy it if you want. I checked it out at the library. but. It was a decent read, um, pretty informative. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the book review.